I love the taste of fish head chatter in the morning. That's a nice shot, Jesus. That's not bad for the first first bow and arrow escapade of the trip. Fishing with a bow and arrow, of course, means you have to go and retrieve the the prey. Usually they don't get too far. There. And they start trying to swim off with your arrow. <laughs> Look at that. Nicely done, sir. Well, this morning, Joe and I were just uh, heading down the river. We often get up right at the crack of dawn and cruise down, cruise up, uh, see what wildlife there is to film. Uh, this morning was a little bit different. Joe spotted some slight disturbance in the water, and uh, the next thing I knew, I was in the front of the boat. This arrow comes shooting past me and goes into the water and disappears. And I figure, oh, he's, he shot at something and missed, and you, we're never going to see the arrow again. Well, about seven or eight seconds later, it just slowly surfaces to the, the, uh, the back end of the arrow, and attached to the front of it is a, a fish about that big. It's been speared exactly through the middle. Standing up in the back of a very unstable boat with very low light, uh, sun reflecting in his eyes, shooting at a fish that was nearly a meter underneath the surface of the water. Yeah, pretty awesome. The man's a legend. That's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm not often flabbergasted, but I, I'm still shaking my head at this one. There's some serious skin involved in that. The head is yours. The head is mine. Not only does he 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 get it with a bow and arrow, and then he cooks it up, but he, then he offers me the head portion, which is actually the the least bony portion of the fish here and that is uh, we'll just get the uh, get the onion off the eyeball there there we go that's the new bow it's taken him two days to make it out of a chunk of a log lying on the ground and it's ready for action the reason it's short is because it's for his 10-year-old niece. You see, they start him hunting pretty young in the Amerindian community. Once you uh, shoot a fish with a bow and arrow, of course, you do have to to follow the arrow. I'm not sure what Joe was uh, just just shot with his bow and arrow here, but we're just about to find out.
That's an arowana shot with a bow and arrow. Very, very cool. That's the man right there. That's the man who does it. Shooting a fish with a bow and arrow is all very well, but uh, it does tend to uh, <laughs> tend to uh, to bend the spear tip sometimes.